Hello everyone, Michael here from BNB Chain and welcome to this demo. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a web application on Telegram using BNB Chain. We will cover everything from building a full stack D app to integrating your web app with Telegram and finally creating a game using the mini app on Telegram. Here is what we are going to cover in this video. I'm going to start with introducing the different components needed for building the Telegram web app. And then I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step guide on how to deploy the web app on Telegram. And using the deploy mini app, we are going to create a Telegram game that can share to others. I will also share some useful resources for the project. Now here's the simple web application that I've built for this demo. I'm going to head over to the connect button. So here I can connect to a long list of wallets. This is built using Wallet Connect Web3 Modal SDK. And they give us a long list of wallet options. Now in this demo, I'm going to use the MetaMask. So I'm going to connect using my wallet account. And now I'm connected. I will start playing with the web application. So this is a simple counter application. I'm just going to increment the counter until it reaches 10. Then I can claim the, key, the game token, which is called the GT token. So I'm going to sign the transaction now to claim the token. After a few seconds, the token should be in my wallet. Okay, now let's check it in our wallet. So I'm going to open my MetaMask, go to the tokens, and sometimes it might not be appear in your wallet yet. So let's refresh the list. And now you can see that the one GT token has been deposited to my account. So with the one GT token, I'm going to mint the NFT. I will sign the transaction one more time. And after a few seconds later, the NFT will be in my wallet. And yes, the NFT is in my wallet now. I'm going to show you the implementation in code. Let's dive into the project structure and see how everything is organized. First, we have the contract folder, which stores all the smart contract APIs. Since I'm using Wagme, I need to type assert the ABI file, which means I have to change the JSON format to TypeScript format. And then I organize the different web components into a folder. So here we have the claim token button, the connect button, the counter, and the mint. Now I'm going to show you the configuration for the web trip model. And you can get the project ID from the Wallet Connect dashboard. And then you can specify the default chain. Here I'm going to use the testnet, the BSC testnet. And then you can specify the metadata. And once you configure everything, you can create the Web3 model. And then you can wrap the children components in the wrapper. And now we have the running web page. In order to deploy as a mini app on Telegram, you will have to first deploy the web app as a static web page. So in this demo, I'm using GitHub pages. There are other services you can use as you desire. And after that, we can create a bot using bot father and link the mini app with the bot. Now here's the interface for bot father. We are going to create a new bot by using the command new bot. Then we can key in a name for the bot. Let's use BNB bot. And then we have to choose a unique username for this bot. This username is taken, so we have to choose another one. Let's use BNB demo bot. And now the bot is created. We can use this bot to create a new mini app. Let's use the command new app to create the mini app. Select the bot that we have created. And now we can name the application. Let's name it 
B and B counter. And then a shop description for this app. Now we have to upload a photo for this application. Bear in mind that this photo must be of the specified pixel size. So I'm going to use the old one that I've used before. So this is of the right size. Okay, now we can put the web app URL that we have created to this board. So head to the static website, copy the URL, paste it here. And now the board has the URL. So we can set a short name for this URL, for this application. And now the mini app is created. We can open it. And it will be of the same web app that we have saw from the browser. We can connect it. Now, because it's in the Telegram setting, so it's in the scan QR format. So now we have the Telegram mini app ready. We can start to create a new Telegram game. In this demo, I'm going to use the mini app URL. And then I'm going to set up the game with the command new game from bot father and after that i'm going to connect the game to the bot now back to bot father we are going to use the same bot to create a new game now before we can do that we have to accept the terms and conditions by telegram so i'm going to accept the terms and conditions oh before we can create a new game we have to set in line for our bot Let's do that. Set in line. And then we can choose the inline message for the bot. Inline set. So now we can create a new game using the bot. Accept the ter terms and conditions. Select the bot. Okay, now I'm going to name the game as BNB Counter short description let's upload the photo again this should be of the specified pixel size I'm going to use back the same old picture here it is okay let's just put empty for the gif Okay, so now we are going to choose a short name for the game. This is for the URL. Now it's ready. We can share this link to our friends or community. I'm going to send it to my own account. So now in, in my own account, this is the message that I've received. As I click on the button, there's nothing yet because I, we haven't set up the button to open the game URL. We are going to do it next. So here is the simple bot script that I've written for the bot. So in the script, I'm just going to use the bot token from our bot. And what this script does is basically it allows user to type the slash command and depend and then give them the inline keyboard. So depends on what the keyboard button the user press, it will then invoke a function so I've written a help and a play game button so we can test it out later now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the bot token from my bot now I'm going to copy it to the environment file And then I'm going to run the script. On the terminal, I'm going to type python main.py to run the script. And now the script is running, so let's go back to the bot. So here, I go back to the game message that was sent to my account earlier. 
and when I press the play this game button, it will direct me to the game URL, which is the mini app. And yeah, it's working perfectly now. And let's go back to the bot and see what happened when we press the start button. So I'm going to search for the bot. And when you press the start button, it will send me the gain message. So there's a play this game button and the help button. So let's go back to the code to inspect. Now, here I added two keyboard buttons, play this game and help. When you press the help button, it should send a help message. And when you press the play this game button, it should send us the game, which is the, UR, the, the mini game. And now let's go back to the bot. So press help, it send the help message. And when we press the play this game, it direct us to the mini app. Yep, this is working. So I've put down some resources which might be helpful for your project. So here is the repo that I've used for this demo. And then I also put down the WebTrain model SDK. This might be helpful if you are integrating WebTrain model SDK as your wallet. And also I've put down the boss script for your reference to connect your TG board to the game. And finally, for full documentation on the Telegram Bot API, please refer to the official documentation here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.